Thanks for visiting EIA.gov. Today, we'd like to give you a brief tour of our new Coal Data Browser and show you the powerful features of our newest interactive data-driven tool. This is a view of the United States, with states color-coded according to the total coal mine production. You can animate the map to see coal production change over time. Note how some states, like Virginia, lose coal production over the years, while several other states darken to show increasing production. By clicking into a state, you can get detail on every coal mine located there. The color of the mine indicates its type, and the size of the circle gives you a relative sense of its production amount. Looking for information on a particular mine? Just click in on the circle or its entry in the table below. You can also type in its name here. Now here's a feature we're pretty excited about. If you want to see where this mine shipped its coal, just click here and the map updates to show what power plants received coal from this mine. The size of the circle again shows the amount of coal, and the color tells you how the coal got there by train, truck, or water. You can also animate this map to show changes in shipments over time. You're not just limited to the amount of coal. Click on these icons to plot almost any criteria we have. For example, I've selected to view how much each power plant paid for a ton of coal. You can animate this map as well. The sulfur content of coal has important implications for the environment. Click on this area to see the sulfur content of coal that this power plant shipped. It's important to note that this view just shows the quality of coal shipped to the plant. The plant's actual emissions depend on the emission scrubbers and coal washing techniques used by that specific plant. You can see a more holistic view of sulfur content, as received by individual states, by changing our data set, here. Here are some other views that help to inform our national energy discussion. This view shows the United States' coal exports. You can see that, on average and over time, China and India have imported more U.S. coal while Canada, less. Take a note of the small map here, which highlights export sites around the nation. By selecting an individual port, the view shifts to the exports for that port alone. You can also change the map to drill in on a specific rank of coal, such as metallurgical. Turning our interest domestically again, this view allows you to see which state spends the most labor hours in its coal mines. Clearly, West Virginia and Kentucky lead the nation. You can also look at and animate data based on the individual coal basins. Compare and chart series within an individual data set. Or access multiple data sets using our PIN feature. Our customary API access and download tools are also available for your advanced analysis. Thanks again for using our new Coal Data Browser. We're excited to put it in your hands. As always, please let us know what you think by using our feedback tool or by emailing, Facebooking, or tweeting us at EI.gov. We'll see you next time.